subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years rehman music sheets i sang tu hi re also in hindi kadal ye rinda hari ji has improvised so much in that song and i was feeling ayyo i couldn't do anything because i sang first kahna hi kya ye nahi kun jaan se jo mile that was one of the uh, biggest blessings i got in my life that song when i was singing he said uh, chitra ji uh, more pleasant it uh, when you sing i am getting little pathet pathos feeling i don't want that ks chitra one of the best playback singers in indian cinema six national awards eight film fair awards Thirty six state film awards, Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan, singing in many Indian and foreign languages. K S Chitra has been on a song, singing professionally for forty years. She is considered to have more than twenty five thousand songs to her credit. Ma'am, is it correct that you have sung more than twenty-five thousand songs? Twenty-five thousand is, I think, it is not the correct number. Much less than that should be eighteen thousand. Okay. So people, you know, oh, when they when figure. they write about me, they start increasing the number of songs, but which is not true. <laughs> so everyone should correct this number now, ma'am. How challenging it is to sustain a career for forty years. um actually to be frank i didn't take any holidays at all all these years i didn't go out anywhere for just for uh, fun or uh, for holidays i was always uh, concentrating in my music and my uh, recordings and shows so i didn't realize it was almost 40 years when somebody came for an interview um, uh, uh, around 25 years then only i realized oh 25 years passed oh so uh, so fast i didn't know time time was flying <laughs> i was always keeping myself um, ready whenever they call me i have to be available maybe i'm workaholic i don't take much holidays uh, i work whatever work comes to me i dedicate 100% on on that Ma'am, before I get into your association with Mr. Rahman, I have to tell you something. I spoke with many of your colleagues, including Mr. Rahman, and everyone agreed on one point: that you are always smiling. What is the secret of this smile? I don't know. I don't. There is no secret in in this because uh, even from my childhood, I was like this. Some somebody looks at my face, I start laughing. I that is my nature. <laughs> By birth, I'm like this. <laughs> and I believe your mother used to be very upset and scolded you for non-stop smiling. Yes, yes. My mom was very scared when girls always keep smiling. People might uh, say bad things about me, and she was very scared of getting a bad name. She always used to uh, tell me, "You have to be serious. Don't." a uh, laugh at strangers only if you know them personally smile at them otherwise uh, you should not keep laughing at everyone <laughs> keep smiling at everyone <laughs> but i couldn't stop i i couldn't stop it <laughs> because <laughs> ma'am i asked kavita krishnamurthy ji and sadhna sargam ji about their favorite song let me show you their answers and then we'll talk further you know one song which i really like is of course chitra ji's kehna hi kya i just love that song i think she has sung it uh, uh, she has sung it brilliantly kehna hi kya is a song i really like a lot kehna hi kya mujhe acha lagta hai tu hi re acha lagta hai ye gaane chitra ji ne jis tarah se gaya hai jaise unke gale mein jo baatein hain wo us gaane ke liye itni khoobsurat se aayi hain you sang this song in tamil hindi and telugu what are your memories that was one of the biggest blessings i got in my life that song i have to thank ramanji for choosing me for that song 
you know uh, for the recording uh, uh, when i was singing he said chitra ji uh, more pleasant it uh, when you sing i am getting little pathet pathos feeling i don't want that uh, i want to be i want you to be more happy uh, in your uh, rendition then i tried my best and uh, uh, that chorus portion and everything was uh, uh, written on the day only while recording only they were doing the uh, uh, chorus portions also then i wrote in my book and then later he called me and asked me can you just dictate the lines because i want to make the chorus sing those lines and i uh, on the phone i uh, i told him all the lines the biggest blessing is guardian has chosen as one of the thousand songs which you must listen before you die so that was the biggest blessing i got and still i have to thank air raman ji for this particular song and when wherever i go people request me to sing this song so this has become uh, a stamp for me kehna hi kya devik anjaan se jo mili chalne lagi mohabbat ke jaise is silsile arman hai ऐसे दिल में खिले जिनको कभी मैं न जानू वो हमसे हम उनसे कभी ना मिले कैसे मिले दिल न जानू अब क्या करे क्या नाम ले कैसे उन्हें मैं पुकार Man this song had beats and arrangements of a qawwali very unusual for a romantic song so how did you react to it when i sang i told you no i was I, i only get the rhythm and the and he used to play with me on the keyboards he didn't make any tracks until that time only after um, uh, my taking my voice he did all the orchestration so everything was new when i heard it what was your reaction when you listened to the final track i was really uh, Uh, what should i say i'm so, so happy and uh, so excited ma'am we too are very excited and greedy too can you sing few lines of this song for us as well kehna hi kya nanik anjaan se jo mile chalne lagi mohabbat ke jaise silsile और मान ऐसे दिल में खिले जिनको कभी मैं न जानू वो हमसे हम उनसे कभी ना मिले कैसे मिले दिल न जानू अब क्या करे क्या नाम ले कैसे उन्हें मैं पुकारू कहना ही क्या Can I sing once again? Kehna hi kya ne nik anjaan se jo mile chalne lagi mohabbat ke jaise silsile aur mana ye seriya illa. I'm not singing it properly today. I don't know my voice is creating problem. Would you like to try Uire from Bombay? Uire No no I want to sing Kannalane only that is a very, much more better song for me. Okay we'll wait for a few seconds. <coughs> कहना ही क्या निक अनजान से जो मिले वन मोर कहना ही क्या निक अनजान से जो मिले चलने लगे मोहब्बत के जैसे सिलसिले अरमान ऐसे दिल में खिले जिनको कभी मैं न जानू वो हमसे हम उनसे कभी ना मिले कैसे मिले दिल न जानू अब क्या करे क्या ना मले कैसे उन्हें मैं पुकारू कन्ना लगे ये नद कन्ने ने 
வயிற்றோடு காணவில்லை வீஆர் மெஸ்மரைஸ்ட் no my throat is not cooperating <laughs> ma'am over the years it has become a classic a timeless song as a singer what do you think what's so special about it uh there is melody and there is uh, uh, the, that fast that what what should you say the rhythmic uh, f- uh, good good uh, you i don't know how to express you know that was a very beautiful song uh, which one can get that's what i should say and i have to uh, mention one more thing uh, uh, i sang the uire uh, uire all the tuhire uh, also in hindi then uh, raman ji personally called me and said uh, uh, we we may have to change one song because uh, the com- audio you can edit it if it is uh, not at all if it, okay we'll keep everything uh, ma'am i'm just telling you what happened he called me and said that uh, i i i will have to change to hire because the uh, the uh, uh, label audio label they wanted they were complaining that all south indian uh, singers have come so we want somebody from the north also to be included in the soundtrack so he he asked my permission that is something i really uh, appreciate you know no uh, nobody else do that but he p- called me personally and uh, requested me that he is going to do this so that is something his quality one of his qualities that's what i feel do you think qualities like these stand mr rahman apart otherwise you know in film industry such professional etiquettes are generally forgotten yes but he is very particular about those yes yes that is that is one of his best qualities recognizing the work of others over the years this song too has become a classic uh, what memories do you have of it singing with hari haran ji and you have performed this song with him on many occasions uh, when actually when i sang hari ji hari din his voice was not there only uh, i sang first and then only i could hear hari ji has improvised so much in that song and i was feeling ayyo i couldn't do anything because i sang first no so uh, he has improvised a lot and even uh, while singing on stage also he improvises a lot and sometimes we i really get tensed uh, whether i'll get the time to start my lines or other i'll i leave it uh, so i always get tensed on the stage while singing that song with hari ji so it was this a beautiful song and we have heard so many people singing that song in different different styles they with, with the different sangatis and everything people that is the, that is one song which everybody tries to uh, experiment or uh, they try to explore And ma'am this is one song no singing reality show is complete without it It's I, as i told you earlier it is a blessing some songs comes as a blessing no <laughs> Ma'am, the theme track of Bombay introduced Mr. Rahman to the world as a musician, as a singer. What's your opinion of that track? Something goes inside that music when you when when Naveen ji and everybody plays that that uh, that theme music, Bombay theme. Something happens to our mind. I don't know how to express it, but it goes inside, straight inside. So that is it. That is the magic. <laughs>
K.S. Chitra noticed Rahman when he was a young boy playing keyboard with many music composers. In our next episode, she recollects those moments. Also, her fond memories of S.P. Bala Subramaniam and Lata Mangeshkar, two stalwarts we lost recently. K.S. Chitra continues with us in our next episode. Stay with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.